What is up Beach Bums? Welcome back to the beach. Today I'm out here in the evening, afternoon hours, trying to get on that early springtime Pompano run bite. Have yet to have like a good day for Pompano, but really want to focus in on them. I've been spending some time here the last couple of trips trying to locate these fish and get a good idea of kind of what's going on and try to start getting prepared for this run. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas time this time of year for Pompano. Just using standard single drop Pompano rigs. I've got two pomp rigs. I've got two widening rigs, which are just smaller rigs. All single drop, some with just a bead, some with just a float. And I'm using fresh dead shrimp and also ghost shrimp <laughs> for my two baits today. So hopefully we find a few today. If I do, I do plan on keeping fish. I am gonna throw them in the cooler today as long as they of course are legal. And we're gonna take them home and eat them. Oh, we got something on here. I don't think it's big. Well, this is our first fish of the afternoon. Well, like something's messing with that middle rod. Might be, I don't know. Can't tell. All right, what's, what do we got? What do we got? Yeah, there's something on that middle rod. Well, what do you know? It's a little northern kingfish. Typical start to the day here recently. Little guy, see that long dorsal fin right there? And you can kind of see those stripes on it. That's the, uh, that's how you ID those guys. That's the northern, northern kingfish. Something looked like it was messing with this bait. I guess not. Nothing there. Take it, take it. I think he's on there. I think we got some slack. Yep. There we go. Yeah, another northern king. A little bit bigger than the last one, but now what we're looking for today. These are really pretty fish. They've got uh, pretty cool stripes on them. They got the longer dorsal fin than the Gulf King fish. Uh, but this is the northern kingfish. He's a little guy. He's going to go back, but uh, not what we're looking for today. Pretty though. This has got a little more fight to him. We've been catching whiting. I don't know if this is another whiting or something different. He's got some tug to him though. Uh, that looks like a pomp or a permit. A pompano! Hey! Let's see if he's legal. This is pretty typical for this time of year in the run, early. Catch the little ones. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, he's a legal pump. He is 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. <laughs> well, I already kept a couple of whiting, so I'm gonna keep this guy. Legal pompano. He's tiny, but uh, we'll get some meat off of him. I'm thinking about making some ceviche. First pompano of the afternoon. He is legal. He is a little guy, 12 and a quarter inches. Uh, I am keeping fish. I already got a couple of whiting that I threw in the cooler, so I'm gonna throw this guy in there with him. But very, very typical to be getting these small ones. They kind of start coming through before we start getting those big ones. You know, late April, that's usually when we start seeing the big, big mamas. Beautiful fish, smells really good. Since that fish was up close on a piece of shrimp, I'm going to break out the other steelhead rod. I still got my ghost shrimp on the other two rods out pretty deep. And I'm not gonna move them in just yet. I'm hoping that maybe there's some bigger fish hanging out in the deeper water. So I'm gonna leave it there and just use these to fish close. So I'm putting out four rods, which I don't really like to do by myself. But I wanna make sure we got all of our bases covered. So we're gonna do it anyway, we're gonna run four. I used to run four and five by myself all the time. 
but I, I've kind of gotten lazy. <laughs> I don't usually do that. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yes. Putting out the new rod paid off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This might be a decent fish. Oh yes. Come here. This could be another pump. It's swimming like one and it's got some weight behind him. Good fish. Another pop. Little guy. <laughs> he felt heavy. He might be fatter than the other one. Pompano number two. I'm going to get a quick measure on him. Make sure he's legal. He's small, but I, th I think he might make 12, but let's check. He is just barely over 12. That is a legal fish. We'll keep him. A couple of things that are important when you're fishing early in the Pompano run in, in our area really helps to have that incoming tide. So like a strong incoming tide, the strongest part of the day of that incoming tide. Usually if you can, if it coincides with like the warmest part of the day or later in the day, you're gonna have more success because these fish, they're, they're looking for that warm water. They like those warmer conditions. Those two things are gonna play a big role in, in your success in finding these fish and, and trying to get some pompano for the table. <laughs> trying to take some home to eat early in that run. And of course, what I talk about all the time when you're pompano fishing and what paid off for us today and getting two so far is zone awareness. I talk about that in a few different videos. And all that is is just staggering your baits, paying attention to where you cast, and put and trying. Once you find a fish, once you find a bite, continuing to put baits in that same zone, because that's usually a depth that those fish are favoring. I've got two rods out deep, which is typically where you're going to want to cast for pompano, and like where most people are going to cast. But we haven't caught a pompano there. Both pompanos so far today have been on my close rods that are not very far out at all. I'm uh, I'm working on my first limit of the season right here one more fish that'll be the alabama limit of pompano be nice to get like a decent sized one. Oh, not not a pump not a pump <laughs> not a pompano oh we got a Something just hit on that on that rod on the end. All right, I need to go check that out. All right, we'll back down this drag. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get you. Okay. Uh, here we go. We got a fish on the end down there. Pretty sure we got a black drum, and then this, which could be another pop, right here at the end of the day. I think this is definitely a pop. Swimming in like that. Yep, and he's, he's not going to be legal. <laughs> that is the smallest of the day by far. Pop number three, he's definitely not going to be legal. We're going to get him back. All right, see, dude? All right, try to get a bait out because I really want to try to get a pompano. So I know this is crazy. I just loosened up that drag. He's just hanging out down there. But we're focused on Pompano. Okay. Oh, he's all the way over here. Uh, he's over all these lines. And he, I had to go this direction. Oh, man. No. Oh, we got a bite on that one. As I was crossing. Uh, this is chaotic. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. We might lose the drum. But that's okay. Oh. 
Can we still get out this way? Yes! This might be a pump. Oh, this is insane. This is like a crazy run here at the end of the day. Oh. Come here. You still on? Woo! Oh. Uh, nope, not a pop. Ugh. Widening. Going back. Okay. Good gracious. So, pompano, widening. Oh my gosh! Oh! Uh, another big hit. Come on. Uh, oh, oh, this might be. What do we got? What is this? Oh, oh, it's another widening. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, there, there's the. That's a uh, Gulf Kingfish. That's the first one I've seen of that, of that one today. This is crazy right here at the end of the day. Okay. All right. How insane, guys. How insane. Okay. All right. Running all over the place. Woo! Well, we may not get our limit because, uh, can't get baits in the water. <laughs> Got busy here. This is a good way to end the day. I'll take it. Slapping that tail. He's right there. Big black drum. The last, uh, I hooked one the other day and lost him pretty soon after I had him on. This guy, at least I've gotten the fight out of him. Oh, 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 that felt weird. Come on. Come on, big daddy. Oh, big wave. Try, trying to use the waves to get them up. Of course, we got like the biggest waves of the day making this more difficult on me. It's hard to land these big ones by yourself. Oh, come up to daddy. Oh. Uh. Uh. Woo! Check him out. <laughs> oh, he's got a remora on him. There you go, two for one special. It's bigger. She's bigger than I thought. She's pretty heavy. Pretty big girl. Good way to end the day. Not what we were going for, but always fun. We'll get her back. All right. Easy. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see, where do we go? Oh, there you go, there you go. Whew. Dang it! Oh my gosh. The waves are like... She's good. She made it. Didn't have her out of the water long at all. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what a mess. <laughs>